Uh, at the present time, it's mostly for the poor prognosis patient and the relapse patient. What we saw in the, the past five years is some treatment, some new drugs, will work mostly on the non-GCB subtype. And for the GCB subtype, the prognosis is so good that maybe we don't need new drugs. Nevertheless, uh, we had to consider that when we have a refractory patient in relapse, if we want to introduce some of these new drugs, we have to know the subtype uh, for this patient. And not only that, uh, you have some other parameter, biological parameter, you can go on. And for example, the MIC translocation BCL2 uh, are very important marker for a subpopulation. And for this group of patients, we need to think completely differently the therapy. Well, it's moving very slowly. Um, the, most of the targeted agents uh, developed for lymphoma are working very well uh, in all other type of lymphoma, mortal cell, CLL type, follicular. And when you go to diffuse abyssal lymphoma, uh, the response rate is about uh, 30%. And then we will have to combine that with, I will think, uh, still chemotherapy and to see if we can improve the efficiency of chemotherapy. And that will be a long, uh, a long way to go, as long as we don't have a new targeted agent focusing more on some key point of, uh, of the neoplasm. And I don't see a lot of progress uh, very quickly, I have to tell you that, for diffuse albicell lymphoma. But by mixing things, as we did with chemotherapy in the past, we will slightly improve uh, the, the treatment. And you had two main drugs in a... Uh, uh, they are on the market for the disease and uh, they can be combined with chemotherapy and that's uh, lenalidomide and ibrutinib. So studies are coming on f in phase three study and we will see the result. Maybe we will have a good surprise for that type of patient, but it will take uh, at least uh, two or three years before getting robust, uh, robust results. Yeah. They have to recognize as early as possible refractory patient or the patient at risk of relapse. And for that type of patient, I think they have to be prepared to put them in clinical study. So to, to have material, biopsy material, and now with the technology, we will be able more and more to adapt uh, the treatment according to the drug in the, in the different study. And I think that will be a, a good progress to speed up the development of this new drug.